Good evening, parents and students. I wanted to take some time to share with you how to really effectively use a Google Calendar to plan out your day, your week, keep track of your assignments, keep track of your Zoom meetings, and just stay more organized and be successful. So if we go into our Google Classroom, and I click on Classwork, students, just like I showed you this morning, you will see that button right here for Google Calendar. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Google Calendar, and it will take you to your Google Calendar. You will notice when you get on your Google Calendar that you will have many different possible calendars available to you, depending on how many Google Classrooms you're enrolled in. You'll also have a personal calendar that you can type in your own personal things like sports practice or dinner with family or weekend away at grandma's, whatever else you wanna type in for your own personal calendar, you can add to it. Right now, I just have the Thompson 2020-2021 class calendar up on the screen. So students, I have been working very hard to make your lives very, very easy. First of all, in the Google Calendar right here, you can choose what you want your calendar to look like. I'm going to encourage you to choose the schedule view. You can choose day, week, month, year, and it will show you what it looks like for the month or for the week or the day, but I think the schedule view is going to be the most helpful to all of you. So that's the view that I'm currently in. You guys will notice that I have already put every single possible meeting that you could come to for Zoom in the calendar. This should make your lives a lot easier. Let's say you wake up in the morning and you want to come to uh, office hours and meet with me in the morning because you had trouble with the previous day's homework. You know that that happens every day from 8 to 8.45. You come here, you click on it, and you will notice immediately there's the Zoom link. I've already built the Zoom link into each one of these calendar events. No more searching for that Zoom link. No more going through Google Classroom and scrolling down the stream and saying, where's the Zoom link? I can't find it. You should never be late to a meeting again because they're all right here. If you have the math small group B at one o'clock, you know you come to the calendar, you're like, oh, it's one o'clock. I need to get in my math small group. Click on the math small group, boom, there's your Zoom link. The other thing I've been noticing is that some of you guys have been forgetting to do your extra math practice every day. Don't worry, boys and girls. I've already reminded you every single day that you need to do your extra math practice. And if you click on it, there's a direct link to extra math right there for you. You click on that and it will take you to the extra math web page. You're going to log in with Clever and you're going to do your practice. Using the calendar will help you stay on top of the assignments and tasks that I've given you in class. Every task that's in Google Classroom that has a due date will show up in Google, on your Google Calendar. For example, on Friday, you can see right here, right now, you know that your studies weekly for science and your studies weekly for soul studies are due. You also know you have extra math, okay? Tomorrow, you can see right here, there's an assignment, benchmark unit one, week one assessment. All your assignments will show up and your entire schedule will show up by using this Google Calendar. I really hope this is helpful to both the students and the parents. Maybe if you have older siblings or younger siblings, this is something that you can help them, as, that will help them as well. Have a great night, everybody.